are we headed, Brother Man? <laughs> We're going to go to the desert to visit uh, Herman today. We're 88 miles out of L.A. And um, I can't believe I have a Benz right now. I don't know how the fuck this happened, but I um, met a chick at a bar and she is now allowing me to take her car uh, about 100 miles outside of Los Angeles to go see where Herman kicks, <laughs> Herman kicks up some dust, apparently. So cool. Yeah, this is the party room, so. And yeah, my little brother's staying with me right now, so he's been sleeping on the, right there. the nook. That's his little zone. He's like, yeah, come check it out. I'll show you guys. I'll give you a little sneak peek. So basically, Beagle has over 2,300 tapes. It's like 2,300 and some change that he has when he was filming all VX. I've seen this, and, I, and I've always been a fan of Baker growing up, and we used to do this thing like every time Beagle would go out and film with Heath or anything, we would always, we, uh, us Bakerams would feast out on the clips. So what Beagle would do is he'd, when he would log the tapes, he'd put it on a VHS for us and then give us the VHS and be like, here, feast out, do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And we would just watch these raw tapes, just loving it, you know? But most of these tapes are all from, let's say, 2000 to 2009 or 10, you know, I'd say. Maybe even 12, you know? We want to release one a week. Mm -hmm. And with wow. that being said, we have 25 years of footage. And right here, it's got the music and the guys like, boo, 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 just the thing. And then as it goes in on the episodes, you'll see this like turns into something else. Do you ever see footage of yourself that you feel like embarrassed by or cringed about? or you? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. A lot of that, I'll, I'll put it on there. I'll yeah. put it on there just to be like, yeah, just show people how stress case I am. <laughs> The hang time, like the amount of time he's in the air. Insane. So you guys are coming here. There's a couple projects I got working on. Yo, we're oh, stuck shit. in New York just at bars. Look at what you're doing out here. Uh, this is my bar. This is where I drink every night. <laughs> where were these letters from? That was from uh, the trade show, Baker 2004. And they were throwing them away, and I actually pulled them out of the trash. <laughs> I, just, I got this car for uh, 2200 bucks. And it seems like a big project, but it really ain't, it ain't much at all. So, got a lot of rust here. I gotta come in, take all this cancer out, which seems like a lot, which this whole panel is gonna come out. I got the panel up here, brand new. This one right here, this one I took nine years to do this one. It's finally done. And now that it's done, I just look at it. I don't even fucking... <laughs> I'm like scared to, scared to take it out. And... All original. All from 1968. Same thing with the 64. This car used to be set up when you go on the highway, you can go like 75, but the engine would be all Wah! like yelling at you, you know? Now it's like a lot more quiet and shit. Those are our buddy's horses, oh. Paul and Kathy. All right. Yep. Yeah. And bust out the Ariats. This is the horse, my horse up here. This is my good girl piece right here. Hi, how you doing? One French fry per piece. Whoa. She likes it. Oh, you mm. like the French fry? It's salty for you, huh? Good girl. He probably will do it on his own. Want to smile? Oh, yeah, wow. good boy. So cute. One more good boy, Pluto. I hate that he does it so close to the fence, though. Coming in hot. Yeah, Pluto. Good boy, Pluto. Yeah, good boy. 
<laughs> Good boy. He's going to start pushing me, watch. Nope, no treats today. Not on there right now. Oh, shit. All right. I usually don't ride bareback because it hurts my nuts. Up. Oh. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Easy. Whoa. I'm getting off you now, girl, because my nuts are hurting. All right, I'm bringing him back in. I'm cold. Good girl. This is the part that she don't like. She's like, that's that shit I don't like. She just farted in my face. That's, all she, that's how she pays me back. Come up here. Tie this knot up. You just keep looping it through each one. Through each one. Oh, take it easy. And look, now she pulls. She's pulling. Yeah. Ain't gonna go nowhere, right? right? And then if you're like, all right, come on. And it's just, let's go, oh, girl. Shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. It pulls easy for you and for her. It ain't gonna do anything. Good girl. Julia's mom was so kind to be like, oh, I'll get him some baseball cards. So. Oh, damn. Oh, they're tops. Oh, shit. They're tops. Well, from 1990 or wait, what? What are these? Oh, they look old school. You never have like, oh, here's a book of my greatest. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. fucked at that point. So, yeah. the way that my dad and we've all done it is that here's our cards. You know what the fuck you got. Look for it and find it. Yeah. So I'll sit here sometimes and I'll go through these cards for hours and hours and hours. These are some cool Babe Ruth cards and shit. Babe Ruth? They're like a lot of newer. There's a Joe DiMaggio card. That's pretty fucking badass. It's got, he's got cards, all Chris Paul shit. Dude, LeBron Tony. James, Chris Paul, and Mar uh, Carmelo Anthony, Michael Jordan, fucking you name it, dude. But I started becoming a collector because I inherited my dad's collection. Yeah. And I just, instead of being the guy that kind of like inherited it and sold it, I just became like the new caretaker of the card collection, you know. So is there anything in skating you still want to accomplish or you feel pretty accomplished there? Um, like as far as like big tricks and stuff yeah. like that, I don't think that I really care much for doing anything crazy and big and massive anymore. I mean, I grew up skating since I was 14, making my money that way and I've never seen another way, you yeah. know, which is fine. I, I understand. I, I grew up having no money in the first place. So the fact that I have money at all right now anyways is like a fucking wild, insane dream. I'll tell you this right now. I don't do it for the money. I never fucking have. Money comes no matter what if you just do what the fuck you do. I've learned that in my life. I worked hard at what I do. And I work hard at other things and I see that it comes even in other things. It's not just skating. You work hard at anything it will happen, you know? But like I say, just rolling around with my board in my truck is a good enough feeling sometimes. I know it sounds jacked that it won't skate, but it's like, dude, it's the, it's the fact that it's like, it's part of me, man, you know? It's part of me. I can't get rid of that shit. Just because I didn't skate doesn't mean I ain't a skater, you know?